Let's have a little test of the focus because my camera does an auto focus. Hello everybody, we are in my kitchen this week and we are going to be cooking. Cooking, not cooking, making. We're making things. As you know from the title and thumbnail of this picture, we are making banana frozen pops. Frozen banana pops? Banana and chocolate frozen pops. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but something to do with banana pops and they're frozen, they've got chocolate. So we have got four bananas, which we are going to cut in half. I don't have any banana sticks, not banana sticks, lollipop sticks. So what I've, I've decided, we've got some plastic spoons and I'm just going to cut off the heads of the spoon or I could just I could just have that as the holdy bit. That would probably be safer actually. So I was thinking if I cut it off it's probably going to be quite sharp and I was going to sort of file it down. But I could just use that as the holding stick, couldn't I? So yeah, there we go. We've got spoons as our holding sticks and then we've also got Sainsbury's dark chocolate because dark chocolate is the best chocolate for you so that is why we're going with dark because we want this to be a healthy friendly video, a healthy friendly snack because that is definitely what I want. For me personally ice cream is one of my biggest weaknesses when it comes to sweet treats so I'm hoping this is going to be a good alternative for me. So right let's get started. First things first, got to peel off the bananas. So let's get started with that, peel the bananas and cut them in half. This table is very unstable and I've got a knife on it ready to cut this off. Do you know what, I'm really bad at peeling bananas when they're not like ultra ripe. So I'm just going to go in and try and peel it, there we go. I feel like this could easily make three but we're going to go with two because someone will just get some nice big ones right and chop it there. So there we go. First two going on. I'll put the sticks in already actually. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but <laughs> that looks hilarious. But I'm pretty sure that I have to freeze the bananas before I put the chocolate on. So as soon as I've done this, we're going to put pop it in the freezer. It does say three hours, but I'm not sure I'm going to wait that long. I'm a bit impatient like that. So if you have the time, wait a bit longer. I'm probably not going to freeze it for very long. Oh no, it started to split the banana. These sticks don't prove, oh god, it did really split the banana. These sticks aren't proving to be great at the moment. One side. Peeling bananas was actually so satisfying. Oh my goodness. But I've been told that you shouldn't eat that very bottom bit, so I'm just going to chop that bit off. It came off on the other one, so I didn't need to chop it off, but it didn't come off for that one. Chop it there. I maybe I'm not going to put this in quite as far this time. Thinking this is only going to hold six, not eight, like I was planning. Can you see that splitting? I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's really split. Obviously, if you can get your hands on proper sticks, I would recommend that. But unfortunately, I didn't. I went shopping today and completely forgot about it, so I'm stuck with ends of speed. So, we have got eight banana pops, all with random spoons coming out the bottom of them, but you know, that's just how we roll on this channel. And I'm going to pop them in the freezer. They're only going for three hours. I'm probably going to leave them in there for maximum an hour because I don't have time for that. <laughs> but in they go to the freezer. And now for the fun bit, which of course involves the chocolate. So this is going to have to be melted. Obviously, I've only just put the bananas in. So to melt the chocolate, we've got to open the chocolate and put it in a bowl. So we're going with that. And plus it means I get to eat some. Don't you think chocolate just looks so satisfying as soon as it's come out of the packet? I just love the way that it looks. I'm not personally a massive fan of dark chocolate. It's like the first time I've tried it in ages, so let's see. You know what, it's actually pretty good. My fault. Oh, my taste buds are changing so much, I used to be so fussy. I was that person that literally didn't like anything. I'm impressed that I like it. I actually really like that. I would happily swap milk chocolate for dark chocolate. Although, all the good stuff's made in milk chocolate, isn't it? Like all the Cadbury stuff, like Whisper and Flake. 
or oh, Milka. Mm. God, I love it. Anyway, I'm going to keep breaking this up and then we can get forward in time an hour and start melting it ready for the bananas. Don't know, oh, <laughs> don't quite know how I'm going to put the chocolate on yet. I kind of want to drizzle it on some of them so that you get the option of not too much chocolate and I also kind of want to slather the chocolate over some of them as well. So we're going to have a good mixture. And to melt the chocolate, you can either do it in the microwave, which is what I'm probably going to do because it's so much easier in the microwave, for like 15 second intervals and every 15 seconds take it out and stir it. Or you can do it over the hob where you have a pan with water in it, boiling and or simmering. Is it boiling or simmering? Just so that it's bubbling, but not really, really bubbling, I guess. This is a very informative <laughs> video. And then you put the bowl on top of the pan, but make sure that the water isn't touching the bottom of the bowl. And then if you just keep stirring that, it will melt, which is quite satisfying to do it that way. But considering there's not too much chocolate here, I'm just gonna do it in the microwave. Plus, it's gonna probably be less because people are gonna come in and start eating this, including me. Mm. Oh, that's actually so good. There's something else I've recently discovered that I really like. Literally, when I say recently, I discovered it like two days ago. Peanut butter. I used to hate peanut butter. Now, I flipping love it. That's another thing you could put on these, actually. You could put some peanut butter on it. Well, I guess you could. Yeah, or you could even melt peanut butter into the chocolate. Or do like a swirly effect. I don't even know, but you know, the endless, the, the toppings are endless. You could have sprinkles, you could have white milk, dark chocolate. I've just gone for dark purely because it is the chocolate that is better for you. And then you could have any sorts of sprinkles, any sorts of sauces, if you wanted a sauce, like a strawberry sauce or like a salted caramel sauce or a bit of salt on top. Oh. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. So we are ready with the chocolate. I've got to dispose of my rubbish and then wait until we can take the bananas out and melt the chocolate. <laughs> you can't eat any more of it. How annoying it is when you've got children. Oh, please, just one more. It has now been over an hour, so I'm going to now melt the chocolate ready to put on top of the banana sticks. The banana sticks, I did just check them. They're not like overly frozen yet, but fingers crossed they're going to be okay to put chocolate on. Hopefully. If not, I'll just put chocolate on the top bit and then people will pick it up and be like, oh. But oh well. I'm going to go melt this in the microwave, 15 second intervals until it is all melted. Melted chocolate done. Now to get the banana. These just look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they're still a little bit squidgy. So I'm hoping it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to try and pick them up, or shall I? Oh yeah. I can pick them up. This, okay. Right, what am I going to do? I'm going to go for... Oh god, that didn't go to plan at all. Oh, that one looks cuter. The first one with a big blob. I hope they taste nice. I don't really know how I'm going to do the other side though, because... I'm going to have to just wait for it to set, but then this will set. I don't really know. Want to decorate one? There's one left for you. So what is it? Just frozen, frozen bananas with chocolate on top. And the purpose of it is well, it's better than ice cream, isn't it? Okay, as much chocolate as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and that one can be your one. I've got to do the other side as well. I've got to wait for them all to set. This one's setting really well because it's not very much on it. But that one's all set, but it's just coming off. There's going to be a lot of chocolate left over. Oh, is there? That's a damn shame, isn't it? Yours <laughs> literally is just a massive blob. Mm. We'll draw on the other side. Yeah, just more. More of the same. More better. of my decorating bananas. This is what they turned out like. This one's gonna be mine because it has the least chocolate on it and I just indulged in loads of that, which is so bad. And this one's my mum's, the one with like, covered in chocolate. 
but it's actually really simple to do and considering I'd only thrown the bananas for like an hour it worked really well but I'm gonna put these back in the freezer ready for whenever anyone wants them I think I should probably cover it in something before I put it in the freezer but I'm not sure anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up also if you're new or if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below there's also the notification button next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time i upload so that you don't miss one and i'll see you next week with another video bye